What is this, E and J? No, Remy. Okay. It ain't 1738 though. No, it ain't 1738. <laughs> yeah, that was 1738 short on that. <laughs> $17.38 short. Like you can tell. I wasn't even niggas, fuck with it. Country niggas drink Remy. Yeah, what, what, what Detroit niggas drink? 1738. <laughs> hey, you know, I, oh, we full of country niggas. Yeah, you know what? I had That's some... why all the country niggas moved to Detroit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, what up, though? This is the big homie Trick Trick all the way from the No Fly Zone, Detroit. You understand me and you watching this is 50.com. No Fly Zone, bitch. What? I'm just a phone call away. Come in without permission. I want to hear shit you got to say. Nigga, I created these laws so I enforce them. All we coming for is our portion. They don't want to do what we tell them, so we force them. What's up with you in that GT? Uh, v that the Birdman shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I fuck with that. Word? Yeah, yeah, he got a new tequila coming out soon, too. So, so you endorsing that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. 100%, yeah. Word. Yeah, GTV, uh, Grand Tour and Vodka, all, all five flavors. He gonna get six, watch. Mmm. <laughs> Come here. <All> right. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Trick Trick is getting into the, the spirit business. Yeah, you know, just, you know, Endorsements always come, you know, it's just a matter of picking the one that make the most sense. Last time, the, the biggest thing that was like, you know, had the internet and everybody going crazy was the you and Rick Ross thing, who was saying that you wasn't going to let him in uh, do his concert in Detroit. What, what was that whole situation about? You know, the situation itself, like I say, is, you know, that's me and, me and that man business, you know, but, mm. you know, as far as... You know, the movement itself, it, you know, Detroit is a no-fly zone, whether people like it or not. Mm. You know, and if it wasn't that serious and it wasn't that way, you know, shit, me and you probably wouldn't be sitting here, you know. I mean, we probably be sitting here about my music, too, you know, but it's like, it's a big thing because of the way it was blown out of proportion. See, the uh, radio station that was hosting that particular event, took their assumptions of the situation and put them out mm. before the sun came up. Mm. They didn't put out Mr. Scarface got down, you know, and all of the other artists that performed, Vezo got down, and they performed like, you know, they rocked it. They did their thing. They ain't put the positive, the positive part of Summer Jams out. They put what they thought happened outside. And the program director took his dumb ass up there on stage explaining, mm -hmm. telling the audience too damn much, doing too much. You made it, and then y'all put that shit out? That's what you put out there. That's what you chose to announce about your station's event. I would have never put that shit out. I sure didn't. We have Rick Ross right outside here tonight at about 11 o'clock. When he was pulling up to come into Sherry Park, he was met by a hundred individuals outside. We have tried to pull every resource together and ask him to come back. He is in fear of his life. This is real shit. He's in fear of his life and that nigga is not performing here tonight. And he may never come back to Detroit. And that's no bullshit. I ain't, I tweet my motherfucking album cover. I ain't had, I ain't, I ain't got, I didn't have nothing to say about it. I still don't have nothing to say about it, but, and the reason being is because it's me and that nigga business, and the radio station was the one that blew that shit up, because it wasn't that big of a situation. It wasn't really a situation at all. It was a stop, it was a roll, and it was over. Mm. There wasn't no more crazy hollering and all of that old shit like that. Yeah, the police was out there like, what the fuck is going on? You know, they was a bit confused too. What the fuck you mean, no fly zone? <laughs> <You get that? laughs> Hold on, dog. You tripping. <laughs> but, you know, so even though they, they can't take a side for the political reasons, they understand. Mm. You know, and I won't say all of them, but some of them support me. You know, in, in, in my movement. Because we mean nobody no harm. Mm. This is a, a building of relationships. But when you use words like building relationships, people look down on that shit because it's positive. You know what I mean? You got to say harsh words like no fly zone and motherfucker, I ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? To get people to really take you serious for what it is you doing. 
you know, I'm not trying to make a fucking point. This is a movement, movement in action already. It's not nothing new. It's been this way. Detroit has become a no-fly zone. So, uh, certain well, majority of the artists are not allowed here, right? <laughs> without is there a list fucking of, permission and, or spending and we gotta, money. Y'all record put, labels <laughs> better start signing some of these goddamn artists from Detroit, or y'all artists can't come in this motherfucker taking no goddamn money. Now you see it, I'm saying it. You ain't gotta listen to it or click it, motherfucker. I'm serious as hell. If you don't go get you some goddamn K B Z and some some motherfucking body from Detroit. And y'all don't send y'all people here. I'm sending them home ass naked <laughs> with no jury, no clothes, and I'm keeping their wallets. It's about respect when you come to another man's house. And that's and everybody have to follow the fucking rules. Those that slip through will be addressed later. You know? But this is how we regulate our city. This is what we do in Detroit. This is what I do. And I don't give a fuck who like it. That's what I do, and I don't mean nobody no harm. We building, we building. To... My youngster Calico just got down this whole weekend. I put him and Snoop together. Snoop, my man, that's my brother, Snoop Dogg. We ain't, I ain't muscling no motherfucker, Snoop Dogg. Man, you don't go to war with no nigga like Snoop Dogg. That's a real man. That's a G. That's a real nigga. We real niggas do real things. That ain't just a cliche. That's real shit. True. This is what we do. We understand each other. You know that saying they say, what's understood don't need to be talked about? This is real shit. We don't have to call niggas and be like, hey, dog, when you get to this motherfucker, nigga, you... No, real niggas is like, what? Well, who got big homie number? Everybody in Detroit knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that can find tricks. Believe that. Mm. Everybody, because I'm in tune with my city like that. That's why I ride for them like I do, you know, and I just... It might be unorthodox in some people's mind, and some people might think it's the mafia and all that, and call it what the fuck you want. It's a no-fly zone, flat out. Mm. That's just what it is, and everybody must abide by the rules. Mm. What is the origin of no-fly zone? When did you put that into act, and it was like, why you felt like it was necessary? I heard, I heard a lot of people saying a lot of disrespectful things about my city, you know, about the talent in my city, about the fact that my city had money, you know, you could just come, you could just go to Detroit and just, that's the bankroll, you know. That's why everybody came to our city. That's the bankroll. Yeah, it's the bankroll. Yeah, people, but think about it, nigga. People coming to support you. Like, the money that our people is paying to come and see you is finna feed you, your manager, your security, your stagehand, your bus driver, his kids, the people at the office, the people at the record, record, uh, the record label, and these people over here. We look what we doing for you. You can't say hi, motherfucker. You piece of shit. You don't go in people's house and do that, especially since they say Detroit's so broke. Oh, Detroit broke. Detroit broke. Detroit ain't broke. Detroit ain't broke at all. But <laughs> here we are. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you keep coming to this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's why you make it your business to put it on your tour schedule to stop in this motherfucker here. He ain't broke. Don't, and don't treat us like no broke niggas either, goddammit. Mm. Show some respect when you come in this motherfucker. With a face full of Tims and Air Forces. Get dead, bust in, a whole bitch and a foursome. I treat you like the Catholic Church treating the portion. <laughs>